Three guys who love Mother Earth. Trevor, Day, and Nathan. Leaving terra firma provides no thrill for these flatland riders. B3 here at Oceanside, all set for the flatland final. Here as well, we'll determine a tour champion. There's 10 guys in all. They get a minute and a half each time on the flatland course. Take the best average of two runs. That'll be your winner. It could be Trevor Meyer, the winningest flatland rider in history. Trevor had a good showing in 1998 at Camp Woodward. He was very smooth, consistent. He flowed, no touches, and he really stunned the crowd and the judges with a great performance. He's been the big name at the X Games, the biggest name in Flatland, but he has been beaten in the last year and a half a number of times. He sure has. The victory tour stopped for him one year ago in New York when he was beaten by Andrew Ferris here in Oceanside, California, using some tricks on the nose. He is very smooth, Trevor. The object in Flatland, stay on the bike, no touchdowns with the feet or the hands. You'll watch these guys working those brakes, scuffing on the tires. Trevor trying to come up with some original moves on the nose of his bike on the handlebars as he's going back and forth and decades out. Nice run for Trevor Meyer, who flew all the way in from Minnesota. Day Smith, on the other hand, drove in from Orange County, not too far from here. Very powerful rider. He does lots of switches. And a crowd favorite with Day Smith. Got off to a slow start, but then put together an outstanding run. It's a great example of balance for Day. Nathan Pananzic, meanwhile, the Canadian, fourth at the X Games. Doesn't really have a shot at the tour title. This is the final stop for Flatland but he certainly could win this event. Qualified first, starting off on the front part of his bike. Oh, he has a touchdown right there early in his run. Judges look at that, but we'll see he has plenty of time to come back and nail his tricks. You get in trouble if you get two, three, four more touchdowns. Benanzik doing well for now. And Matt Hoffman, one guy you know from bike, has a lot of respect for this sport. Yeah, these last six months have been almost a milestone for the sport. That all these riders are just so advanced now, and they've got such, these competitions are, are just held in so high regards that they've just pushed themselves over and over time and time again, and it's just pushed the sport beyond where I've ever seen it, you know? So it's, it's pretty amazing. I'm really, I'm really happy with, with the progression of the sport right now. That's a big statement from a legend in the sport, Matt Hoffman, and Matt out with an injury the last couple of months. But this guy, Nathan, only 19 years old, and he is gonna carry the torch in the sport of Flatman. And you can see right here, every trick up on the front of his bike. All the tricks have assessed point values. Judges watch very closely. Style, a big part of this. Creativity, a must. Crowd really appreciating what these guys can do. Eight, nine hours a day, they practice on flatland just like this. And he's going to finish up on the front of his bike. Every single trick has been on the front. A solid 90 seconds besides the one touch in the first 10 seconds of his run. Anzik giving Day Smith and Trevor Meyer a run for their money today. Finishes up with a hitchhiker and a great effort for this young man. Nathan wasted no time getting his links together, a full 90 seconds up on the front of his bike. He switches feet right here from left to right, scuffing with that right front tire. He's having a little fun right there. Congratulations from the guys. Pananzik, first place in a win over Trevor Meyer, who finishes a surprising third today. Day Smith in second, no big surprise there. This is the bottom half of the field. Take a look while we go down and get a word with our winner. I just went to a contest in Japan, and everybody over there is super cool. There's no pressure amongst the riders. Everybody's there to have a good time and have fun. That's the way it should be. So when I come back to contests like this, there's a little more pressure because of the tense intensity from other riders, you know. Good consistency paid off for Trevor Meyer, though. The Flatland final tour standings. He wins it all with 745 points and gets that big belt to wear around.